One of the owners of the farm and of these hens is a granny. As you can see, she's pretty upset with this mischievous cat and is now attempting to stop it from harming her hens. Granny sounds like granuloma, so we've included it in this image to help you remember that Bartonella is associated with granuloma formation. Granulomas are simply a collection of macrophages that attempt to wall off an infection. This is an image of a granuloma. Notice that there is a large circular pattern of walled off debris right here. This is surrounded by white blood cells, including lymphocytes and multinucleated giant cells. In immunocompetent patients, Bartonella is associated with painful axillary lymphadenopathy. To help you remember this, we've shown this crazy looking grandma with her arms up in the air, exposing her very hairy armpits. The curly hair resembles lymph nodes, so curly hair in the axilla for painful axillary lymphadenopathy. Next, notice that we've shown a guy who's trying to rescue this hen who's been severely injured. The hen's blood is all over the stretcher and resembles a rash caused by Bartonella, which is known as bacillary angiomatosis. So the stretcher stained like a rash for bacillary angiomatosis. He doesn't know what to do as the hen bleeds out, so he frantically pulls out a $100 bill and tries to control the bleeding by using it as a Band-Aid. The Band-Aid represents AIDS, and the fact that it's being used as a $100 bill represents a CD4 count less than 100. Also, just like we've done with other videos, the stretcher represents a compromised immune system. So putting all this together, immunocompromised patients, such as AIDS patients with CD4 counts less than 100, are prone to developing bacillary angiomatosis. You can also see that this frantic appearing guy has pulled out a scalpel. Maybe he's about to perform a minor surgery on the hen in an attempt to save its life. The scalpel, along with the blood stains on his shirt that resemble neutrophils, are here to help you remember that a biopsy of bacillary angiomatosis will show neutrophilic inflammation. Okay, now notice that we've included a car in the background right here, and you can see a person who has accidentally dropped something on the ground, which appears to be shattering. Let's zoom up so you can see this better. As you can see, this is actually a shattered Petri dish. The car represents endocarditis, and the petri dish that is shattering on the ground represents culture negative. So putting these together, we get blood culture negative endocarditis. So Bartonella can cause blood culture negative endocarditis. This is defined as infectious endocarditis without any growth of organisms obtained from three independent blood samples. 